so uh, whether it be uh, conceptualizing a crazy new product or uh, injecting the light to your apps uh, motion tells a story and uh, i'll tell you a story uh, one time a designer and a developer were working peacefully in their offices and uh, uh, they had a happy hour uh, in the evening so uh, designer drank a lot and he was high that day um, and uh, because he was high he created this uh, awesome animation because you know it uh, you know increases your creativity so uh, then uh, the other day developer was feeling a little low because he didn't know how to do you know do this because he was this was a tough one this time so with Lottie all are happy this is uh, an, a library presented to us by Airbnb and uh, I'll talk about it. Um, for most apps, uh, animation is an afterthought, and uh, people, you know, because of the time crunch, people, uh, the animation part falls off the radar. Uh, so, uh, because the designers want to, you know, ship the assets, and the developers want to get the functionality right. So, uh, uh, this is Lottie animating the bridge between designers and developers. Um, I had written a blog post in which I tell how to, you know, install body moving in After Effects, uh, then, you know, render it and uh, export the JSON, which is the intermediary uh, thing which has to be then imported into the Android Studio, Xcode, or uh, other platform for React Native and stuff. Uh, so, uh, because this is a mobile uh, thing, so uh, animation is, animations in mobile. Uh, are like we can build it by hand. There was a library by Facebook which is keyframes, which was very helpful. Uh, there are GIFs, but GIFs are uh, large, larger in size. And then there's uh, animated vector drawable. Uh, Body Moving also has now a capability to export AVDs. Uh, there's Quartz 2D for iOS, which works pretty awesomely. Like I talked to one of the iOS guys. And then there's Lottie. Uh, for all of them. Uh, well, we have a winner, which is, yeah, I'm not very like evangelizing Lottie, but because Gabriel Peel, who is the, uh, who invented Lottie for Android, and there's another guy for iOS. So they are like pushing it a lot. And you had your Choco Pie. Yeah, well, it's not. Uh, well, Lottie is named after a German film director and a pioneer of silhouette animation, which, uh, whose uh, name is Lotte Reiniger. And uh, uh, she, you know, that, like I told you, she was a pioneer of animation. So she used to create some animated films, and, you know, uh, that was a long time back. Um, and then uh, Lottie got inspired and took. The name from it and uh, it's a tool by Airbnb that parses AE animations exported as JSON with body moving and renders it uh, on the go. Mm, what else? Uh, now engineers can use the uh, files, I mean uh, the exported files exactly how it was made. There's no manual tweaking by hand uh, all the time which is uh, taken else. Uh, so uh, like they say, uh, charity begins at home, so they uh, used it in their own apps. Uh, I mean, Airbnb's own app first, and then, uh, yeah, uh, there's this uh, developer at Google who is also a designer. His name is Nick Butcher, and he quotes that uh, dropping this into uh, the app felt almost like cheating. Uh, he had never done such complex animation in such little time. Uh, so, uh, this was the IO, this was the screenshot from the IO app and uh, it is also inspired by the animation libraries previously available which are Squall, Keyframes, uh, Rubber Hose, Nine Square, Motion Corps, Animography um, and the workflow is pretty simple. Uh, we have to have a licensed version of After Effects and uh, there is a body moving uh, plugin which we need to install and then we can, uh, you know, create some uh, translation, rotation, scale, any kind of animation, uh, sh 
export it and render it using body move on, uh, body move in, and then Lottie can you know use it uh, by one line of code. So the experiment was that uh, they took certain animations like the vicious heart and the jumping pin or the hamburger uh, rotating into a backward, and uh, they said that it took twice. I mean, not twice. A lot of time inventing it by hand. But uh, using Lottie, they just had to put it in the asset like we do for an icon. Um, so how it works? Uh, it's easier, uh, almost magical. So uh, th this is uh, like you can see. Uh, we can create an animation in After Effects. Uh, there are certain uh, you know we have to set time frames uh, from zero to say one or two seconds, and then. Uh, then we can rotate, animate, morph, shape, anything we can do. Uh, and then, uh, sorry, uh, we have to export it using uh, body movement. Uh, there's simple, I mean, we go to plugins and then uh, shoot body movement and then click render. And that's done. You get a JSON file uh, when that's done. Uh, and that is uh, gibberish. So uh, this is uh, a non-readable file, which is a JSON, and this is what you import onto your Android Studio or Xcode. Now, uh, what what Lottie internally does is on the mobile is that uh, it iterates to all the layers, the colors, the shapes, and then you know deserializes it, and you can see uh, the animation going on. Uh, what also you can do is like uh, when designer creates an animation, he can just uh, pick the file, put it onto lottiefiles.com, which is a, co a community contribution uh, by mm, Nattu. There's a guy. So uh, you can put that onto your uh, browser, uh, drag and drop, and then you can you get a QR code, which you can then scan through a QR code scanner, which is in the sample app of Lottie. Uh, when you scan that. It loads the animation from the network, and then uh, sorry, and then you can play that animation. Yes, and then uh, there's a bit of coding uh, for Android. Okay. Uh, we have to add the compile dependency. 2.2, so is I think the latest, and then. Uh, you have to add only the view into the XML. Uh, you can loop through. You can. You have to specify the file name, which is in the uh, assets folder, and you can uh, do autoplay through and so on. Uh, you can also do it programmatically. Uh, then uh, to re reuse the same animation. Lottie has a strategy to cast the animation. There are three kind of strategies, which is strong, weak, and none. Uh, you can ha hold a weak reference, strong reference, uh, or you don't uh, need to. Uh, for like, if you want to use animations in, say, a list, uh, you can use cancelable, which gives you a composition, and then you can set the composition onto your animation view. Okay. Uh, also, you can load uh, it from a JSON object. Like here, you can see uh, we can reference from our assets folder, and uh, the JSON file we can uh, set the composition to the Lottie animation view. And uh, also, if we do it from the network, we can uh, make a retrofit call or an API call, and we get the JSON string. We convert it onto a JSON object, and then pass it to this method from JSON, and we get the composition. Uh, so uh, we can also add listeners. We can uh, we can. Do, uh, do on start on end. Uh, we can also set the progress. Uh, setting the progress is uh, something very, which is interesting because this is what we uh, this is something we can do with AVDs. Uh, like we can hook this progress with some scroll listener or gesture listener, uh, maybe in Splash. And uh, then we can also set the duration. Um, start the animation, cancel the animation. And similarly for iOS, we can use uh, CocoaPods or Carthage. 
uh, which is like how to install it. Then uh, we can add the JSON file to our project and do the similar thing. Uh, we can add a subview to the main view and play it, or like we can add a web URL and uh, use it using NS URL. Uh, so I have created these three. Uh, uh, three uh, tutorials which tells how to install body move in creating an animation and then uh, putting it onto an end project to work just fine um, you can check that out they're on youtube these are the links um, then the pros uh, the workflow is very simple um, like i told you from ae to body move to uh, the platform and then uh, the cross uh, platform it is available uh, it is available in android yeah web and iOS. Uh, also, it has a very wide feature support. It goes back to API 14. Mm. Also, uh, we can progress scale and speed control, uh, and we can uh, animate anything on demand. And there are more. Uh, it supports JSON files over the network. Like I told you, we can load the JSON into a JSON object, which is also useful for A/B testing. Mm. It has uh, it has an optional uh, caching mechanism. And uh, uh, Lottie animation can also be driven by gestures, like I told you. For like splash, you can see uh, the Lottie sample. They have done a pretty good job. Uh, like you can just uh, go next, next, and uh, it animates like. Uh, and then there's uh, text delicate for text animations, uh, maybe for uh, internationalizations or localizations, as we like to call it. Um, now what this does is like we can uh, we can pass. We can do any kind of uh, animations from text, and we can set the text uh, like I want to set it as fragments 2017. It will show it. If I want to change it, I can. Uh, also, uh, this is a feature in Android, I guess, for now. And for iOS, we have uh, like we can specify a layer and give it a name. We can uh, uh, like, and we can also change the color of different layers. For example, like we have. We want uh, some kind of animation in which we this is a room and we want to show all the heated areas. We can make them red. Uh, if we have a football team and we want to specify different colors to it, we can change them on, on runtime. And also we can change. Uh, also, uh, there is this thing where we can uh, in the assets folder we can also put another folder in which we can put all the images. So if there's an image which is, which is used by, uh, you know, the animation file, the JSON file, uh, because images can be kind of heavy and uh, it is basically uh, on top of vectors uh, and layers. So images can be kept separately and they can be picked whenever needed. So we can, uh, there's a method for that. And the cons are, uh, they are, Little uh, performance issues uh, with complex animations. Why? Because uh, complex animations are also an issue otherwise. Um, well, uh, for what I think, uh, and other people also think the same thing that uh, these animations should be used for hero anim uh, like Lottie should be used for hero animations and not like basic animations, uh, like in splash or loading screens or empty screens. Um, like we have, we had an app, right? It in which we wanted. Uh, I mean, it was a pharmaceutical app, and they wanted to fill in the bottle of uh, uh, syrup. So we could show something like the bottle is filling. Uh, some things which we can't do with AVDs and otherwise. Uh, so uh, there are some black boxes because the JSON file is non-readable, hence non-tunable, and uh, the method count is like we think. Uh, a lot while putting some dependency into a project. The method count is fairly okay uh, between uh, Glide and Picasso. And then there's uh, also dex, dex count is also in between the two. Um, it doesn't work well with all the text animations well. Uh, the problem which was like there's a workaround for it that we have to convert the text to shapes like I tried doing it and uh, uh, it, it played fine on lottie.lottiefiles.com, and uh, but when I put it in my Android uh, Studio, the text wasn't very clear. So I looked for it, and they said convert convert the text into shapes 
and I did it and it worked just fine. And marks, uh, sorry, masks and mats are less performant as dotty renders layers uh, using the buffer. So uh, if you're using masks and mats, uh, which is the terminology of artifacts, uh, you should be using hardware acceleration. And who uses Lotti? Well, uh, Uber and uh, Twitter, uh, New York Times, Periscope, Airbnb, Slack, Yahoo, and we at Fuel. Uh, uh, these are the references for uh, from where I made this presentation. Uh, and this is the uh, website that I told you about, uh, LottiFiles.com. Uh, this is like an open source uh, collection of different animations that people have posted on it, uh, and uh, they have reached some 10,000 uh, animations. So also recently, uh, Lottie collaborated with the, the Noun project and uh, they created these uh, modern pictograms, which are like little icons, which can be used with Lottie. Uh, and these are open source, you can check them out in the link. Um, <clears throat> Uh, also, there are some complementary tools. Um, well, uh, after the advent of these few libraries, there are like Google uh, launched these two project products, which are uh, uh, Sketch to AE, in which we can just uh, select the sketch file and then use Sketch to AE plugin and copy it onto our After Effects. Uh, what it does it it parses all the sketch groups and uh, you can see that you, you have the same screen in After Effects, you can just uh, make the animations here. Uh, then there's another uh, plugin called Inspector Space Time in which we can select a particular keyframe, a keyframe collection and then uh, it'll show us like, <clears throat> this is for like if you want to make reference videos for uh, uh, like for animations that we have to show the, to the developers. So what it does is it uh, takes all the keyframes and then makes them into uh, like you can see uh, alpha and uh, all that. Uh, position and opacity. Well, thank you. Uh, I, I like to thank Natu, who was the co-founder of uh, LottieFiles.com, and there is. A designer and uh, we have a co-working space, we have a company called Colorblind, uh, this guy just passing told me how to work with After Effects and there's Garima Jan uh, who is a senior Android dev at Fuel. Um, and here's a silhouette shot by me at Khi Ganga, Himachal Pradesh, if you guys are interested in tracking you should go, it's a very good place. And uh, this is me, Chetan Sachdeva, uh, I'm an Android dev at Fuel, this is my Twitter handle. Any questions? Hello. Hello. Thanks for the wonderful presentation. Uh, so my only uh, the flaw I see in this is that you need to have Adobe After Effects. Yes. Which is like a corporate solution. Again. Uh, what? Is the community moving towards developing some uh, sort of an open source? Uh, no. You want it for developers? So, like, if I want to have my own. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what is it like. AE is not a tough tool. I, I'm, I'm, I, so if I can't pay for AE, okay, okay. So that Something I won't be able to use Lottie, basically, right? Yes, you won't. Uh, you, you can use uh, all the like uh, already built animations like in lottiefiles.com or there's a 7 day trial you can try that. Use a cat word. Yeah, hi. Chetan, yes. uh, so I wanted to know you didn't... But I don't think they'll match up the quality. Yes. Yeah, 
just one question. Uh, hi, Chetan. So you didn't tell me about uh, does it scale properly for different uh, different dimensions of phone? Sorry, I'm not audible. Uh, you're not audible. Does the animation uh, scale properly for different dimensions of phone? We didn't touch that part, I guess, in the slides. Scale properly. Yes, they scale like uh, there's no pixelation when you scale them. Uh, if you compare it with GIFs, they do have pixelation. Uh, because why they don't uh, pixelate is because like they use layers and vectors, all that stuff, Bezier curves. We have one last question this side. Yes, you can. There's uh, this lottery demo, like there's a sample uh, on Airbnb slash lottery GitHub page. You can check that out. They have actually, uh, like like I told you about the QR code scanning thing. So what they do is they'll, they load the uh, animation from retrofit and then they parse it into a JSON object and then they consume it. Um, yes. Uh, from what I saw is like they had done something like body dot uh, sorry response dot body dot string so they get the string I mean this file has a long string path and so on so they get that string and they make it into a JSON object thank you Chetan thank you so much